So I was scrolling through a few articles trying to answer the following question. What exactly does 14 nanometers mean when it comes to central and graphics processing units, particularly the Polaris and Skylake lineups? Trustedreviews.com claims that the term 14 nanometers, quote, refers to the size of the transistors that are used to make a whole integrated circuit or chip. This is not correct, and I sincerely hope that Trusted Reviews fixes this sentence once this video airs. Let's discuss what this size actually defines. The Intel Skylake i7-6700K was created on a 14 nanometer fabrication node. The AMD Polaris RX480 was also created on a 14 nanometer node. Fun fact, so were the iPhone 6S and Galaxy S6. So this does not mean that individual transistors within each die are 14 nanometers long, tall, wide, however you want to look at it. It means none of those things. In fact, by its definition alone, it doesn't even have to describe an aspect of a transistor. So here's what it does mean in the case of the two aforementioned processors. The the term 14 nanometers, or any lithographic length for that matter, is defined as the degree of precision within each fabrication. It details how precise individual etchings can be on the surface of a silicon wafer, and what this number physically describes ultimately depends on the thinnest parallel points on each transistor. Well, that's what it used to define. Each of the billions of field effect transistors comprising a single processor carry a source, drain, and a number of gates. The gate ultimately controls the flow of electrons between the latter, and in modern 14 nanometer processors, wraps tightly around each fin on a transistor in an effort to reduce current leakage. Once upon a time, this length actually meant something, typically the length of the transistor gate. But as senior fellow and technology and manufacturing group director of Intel, Mark Bohr, proclaims, he currently, quote, can't point to the one dimension, that's 32 or 22 or 14 nanometers, on any of these processors. Quote, some dimensions are smaller than the stated node name and others are larger. So does this mean that 14 nanometers is a bit misleading? Well, in short, yes, very. It used to be quite simple with planar transistors, however, thanks to 3D thin arrays, it gets quite complicated. For instance, an Intel Haswell i7-4790K is developed around a 22 nanometer node, but individual fins on a single transistor within the CPU are only eight nanometers wide. So by the very definition of a lithographic length, technically Haswell CPUs are eight nanometers, not 22, since eight nanometers is the finest degree of precision for that slice of silicon. In short, by today's standards, these lengths are more like milestone indicators for companies. An example of this would be Global Foundry's 14 nanometer chips. Subramani Kanjeri, Vice President of Advanced Technology Architecture at Global Foundries, revealed that his first generation 14 nanometer FinFET chips essentially recycled old 20 nanometer framework and simply, quote, plugged in FinFET, making this new technology, quote, 20 nanometer FinFET in a way, end quote meaning that the company simply reduced the lithographic numeral for the sake of signifying the change from a planner to fin design. Misleading? Yes, although most consumers are unlikely to notice, except for all of you watching this video. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.